Hi, in this uh, tutorial, I will review how to solve question one from chapter two in Excel. The first question is to find out the mean. So in order to find out mean, we will need to use the following uh, Excel function. So it's called average, average, and we select the data, okay? And hit OK, uh, enter. So that's our mean. Next one is median. So to find out the median, we will use the following function equals median and then select the data again. Okay. So next function is to use the variance. Variance. As you will see shortly, there are uh, two types of variance available in the Excel. Uh, you know, spreadsheet. So the first one is population. Okay, so let's do the population first. So, and this function is known as equal VAR. And there are two alternatives. Okay, so VAR, it's called variance.p, which will give you population variance. So let's select the data, close the parentheses and hit OK. So I will uh, put everything into two digit precision. Next one is variance for the sample. So variance for the sample. And in order to find out the variance, we need function equals var.s. And we select the data set again. So, and that's our sample variance. Now to find the standard deviation, again, we have two options. So the first one is population one. Okay, so let's let's type here, st, st.dev, okay. And the, the next one is uh, standard deviation for, for sample. Okay, so let's see functionality here. It's called st. DEV, okay, so which is the first option here, DEV, and then we select the sample again, which is 10.41, and the next one is that equals STDV, and then that S, and we select the sample. Alternatively, you could have done uh, this uh, last two, but just taking the square root from two numbers, okay? Power 0 0.5, okay? So you should get the same result here, and you see, you clearly see that the case, okay? And uh, I take square root from the sample variance, and that gives you sample standard deviation. Next one, we need to find the uh, skewness. Skewness. So we need skew, okay, skew, that's the function. And I select the data. Okay, so this, uh, you know, finds the sample skewness, okay? We need population, okay? And if you, you know, remember from our analytical PowerPoint presentation, that's the number we got, okay? Negative 0 0.09. And finally, we need the kurtosis. Okay, kurtosis, kurtosis, and this is function is known as a, a KURT, and we select the date again. Okay, and this is uh, one thing I would like to highlight here that Excel calculates kurtosis using the same form, a slightly different formula and then subtract three. Okay, so this negatively skewed means that uh, it's the answer what we did in the PowerPoint slides minus three. That's what Excel reports. Okay, so don't get confused here. So kurtosis being negative, that means the formula we use in PowerPoint minus three, but we did not took minus three in the slides. And that's why you see the 
slight difference, okay? All right, that basically co concludes uh, all Excel functionalities needed to answer question for 2.1, question number one from chapter two. All right, thank you very much for your attention.